Welcome to today's video. In this video, we will be sharing five important life lessons that will help you make better decisions and lead a more fulfilling life. From learning to quit when it's time, to recognizing the dangers of confirmation bias, we will be covering a range of topics that are sure to resonate with you. And if you enjoy this video and want to learn more, be sure to check out our book in the link in the pinned comment below. It's filled with even more valuable insights and practical tips that will help you navigate through life's challenges with confidence and grace. So don't wait, grab your copy today and start living your best life. Lesson 1. Just because we get the right result, it doesn't mean we took the right action. There are many factors that contribute to the right result, and we may not even know if it's right for us in the long term. We need to consider the randomness of events and all possible factors that could influence them. For example, let's say we invest in a stock and it goes up in value. We might think we made the right decision to invest in that stock, but there could be external factors that influence the stock's value, such as a sudden increase in demand or a favorable economic report. We may have just gotten lucky in our investment decision, or it may have been a good decision based on the information we had at the time. However, we need to be careful not to assume that we always know the right action to take just because we get the desired result. Another example could be in a personal relationship. We may think that we made the right decision to break up with our partner because we feel happier now, but there could be underlying factors that influenced our decision, such as unresolved issues or personal insecurities. It's important to take a step back and evaluate all possible factors before taking action, and to be open to the possibility that our actions may not always lead to the desired outcome. It's important to remember that just because we get the right result, it doesn't necessarily mean we took the right action. We need to consider all possible factors that could have influenced the outcome, and be open to the possibility that our actions may not always lead to the desired outcome. By taking a more thoughtful and careful approach, we can make more informed decisions that are better for us in the long term. Lesson 2. Most of our assumptions are often wrong, even when we feel they're right. We are prone to confirmation bias, which means we look for evidence that supports our beliefs and ignore evidence that contradicts them. To deal with this bias, we should keep a diary where we record our ideas and opinions and focus on disproving them. This will help us to identify and challenge our assumptions and to see things from different perspectives. By keeping an open mind and being willing to change our beliefs based on new information, we can make better decisions and avoid the pitfalls of confirmation bias. For example, we might assume that a certain political party is always wrong and look for evidence to support this belief while ignoring evidence that contradicts it. By keeping a diary and actively seeking out evidence that challenges this assumption, we can gain a more balanced and nuanced understanding of the political landscape and make more informed decisions at the polls. Another example could be in a work setting. We might assume that a certain colleague is uncooperative and difficult to work with and look for evidence to support this belief while ignoring evidence that contradicts it. By keeping a diary and actively seeking out evidence that challenges this assumption, we can gain a more accurate understanding of our colleagues' behavior and work more effectively with them. Most of our assumptions are often wrong, and we are prone to confirmation bias. To deal with this bias, we should keep a diary where we record our ideas and opinions and focus on disproving them. By doing so, we can challenge our assumptions, gain a more balanced understanding of the world around us, and make better decisions. Lesson 3. More information isn't always better. We are curious creatures and love to hunt for answers, but too much information can be overwhelming and lead to wasting mental energy on useless data. We should regulate the amount of information we take in and avoid sources that constantly bombard us with information. Instead, we should focus on quality over quantity and seek out information that is relevant and meaningful to us. This will help us make better decisions and avoid getting bogged down by irrelevant or contradictory information. For example, we might be researching a new product to buy and come across hundreds of reviews and articles about it. While it's tempting to read them all, it can quickly become overwhelming and lead to decision paralysis. Instead, we should focus on a few trusted sources and carefully consider the information they provide. Another example could be in a work setting. We might be tasked with researching a new market or industry and come across a wealth of information that seems relevant. However, much of it may be outdated or irrelevant to our specific needs. By focusing on quality over quantity and carefully vetting our sources, we can avoid wasting time and energy on useless data. More information isn't always better, and we should regulate the amount of information we take in. 
by focusing on quality over quantity and seeking out information that is relevant and meaningful to us we can make better decisions and avoid getting overwhelmed by irrelevant or contradictory data lesson four most stories don't tell the complete truth we should never trust them blindly stories give us a false sense of understanding and we tend to forget that sometimes things happen randomly we should investigate and not blindly give meaning to everything we hear or see this is especially important in today's world where we are bombarded with information from multiple sources and it's easy to get caught up in sensationalized stories or fake news it's important to approach everything with a critical eye and to seek out multiple sources to get a more complete picture for example we might hear a story about a crime that happened in our community and immediately jump to conclusions about who is responsible and why it happened However, there may be more to the story than what we initially hear, and it's important to investigate and gather all the facts before making any judgments. Another example could be in a work setting. We might hear a story about a colleague who made a mistake on a project and immediately assume that they are incompetent or lazy. However, there may be extenuating circumstances that we are not aware of, and it's important to investigate and gather all the facts before making any judgments. It's important to approach everything with a critical eye and to seek out multiple sources to get a more complete picture. By investigating and gathering all the facts before making any judgments, we can avoid making hasty decisions based on incomplete or false information. Lesson 5. Learn to quit when it's time. The sunk cost fallacy and effort justification bias can make us reluctant to quit something we've invested time and energy in, even if it has no hope in the future. We should change according to the time and situation and not stick to a process or system just because we've invested a lot of time and energy in it. This is an important lesson to learn, as it can save us a lot of time, energy, and resources in the long run. It's important to recognize when something is no longer serving us or has no hope for success, and to be willing to let it go and move on to something else. For example, we might be working on a project that we've invested a lot of time and energy in, but it's not going anywhere and has no hope for success. We might be reluctant to quit because of the time and effort we've already put in, but continuing to work on it would only be a waste of time and resources. It's important to recognize when it's time to cut our losses and move on to something else. Another example could be in a personal relationship. We might be in a toxic or unhealthy relationship, but be reluctant to end it because of the time and energy we've invested in it. However, continuing to stay in that relationship would only be detrimental to our well-being and happiness. It's important to recognize when it's time to let go and move on to something healthier and more fulfilling. Learning to quit when it's time is an important lesson to learn. The sunk cost fallacy and effort justification bias can make us reluctant to let go of something we've invested time and energy in, but it's important to recognize when something is no longer serving us or has no hope for success. By being willing to let go and move on to something else, we can save ourselves time, energy, and resources in the long run. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you found these life lessons helpful and insightful. Remember, life is a journey and it's important to learn and grow along the way. By applying these lessons to your own life, you can make better decisions, avoid common pitfalls, and lead a more fulfilling life. And don't forget to check out our book in the link in the pinned comment below. It's a great resource for anyone looking to improve their decision-making skills and live a more fulfilling life. So be sure to grab your copy today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more valuable content. And as always, feel free to leave a comment below with your thoughts and insights. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.